Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. Uh, today is just me kind of voicing my thoughts as I uh, go through this piece. Um, yeah, just main thoughts. Anyways, so what I wanted uh, was to be to have a piece that was inspired by the song that's playing right now, which is Claire de Lune, written by Debbie Say, or as my family likes to call it, De Buzzy. Um, and what I really wanted to capture was the feeling of the song though it's very light very airy very you know like that <laughs> and and that's what i wanted so i put a lot of swooping arcs you can tell that on the wings on the tails on the necks you know what i mean if you look at her paws which by the way this is callista and starling um anyways if you look at the paws you know everything's in like very arced very smooth manners um and and that's that's how i'm gonna try to accomplish this <laughs> this feeling of lightness and airiness and i don't know like dream almost <laughs> something like that <laughs> um one other thing that i wanted was the color palette to be uh purples and blues Warm tones tend to make me very, uh, happy, very, like, yeah, relaxed, but not, like, I don't know, it, it tends to make, it, it makes me happy, <laughs> um, and cool tones help me to relax, it's very mellow, and so I decided to use, uh, blues and, uh, blues and purples, also because, you know, like, they're, they're in the night. The hardest part about this piece is probably gonna get, uh, <laughs> is probably gonna be the lighting. <laughs> um, um, English go. Um, <laughs> the lighting. It's, uh, not something that I'm very familiar with. I like doing, uh, I, I like painting, you know, nightscapes, but it, I find it very hard, uh, especially when I do a lot of, like, moons since every moon gives off a lot of light and um i'm also gonna be putting mountains which is something that i don't practice often so i'm really bad at them <laughs> anyways i hope to practice them in the future and maybe i'll do like this little journey but um aside from that uh getting on to the characters now these two i don't know if you guys remember the description for donut if you go back and watch that video, just click on the description, and there, he's actually part of a winglet with a whole ton of others, um, and one of them is Callista. She's, like, super jittery and stuff like that, um, and I, uh, decided to bring her out, <laughs> and so anyways, she's not the prettiest, uh, she's, she's brown and kind of murky. I mean, from a distance, you would think that it's a mudwing, <laughs> you know? It's like this little brown speck in the sky. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted for her, and I think that I accomplished that. And uh, this guy that I'm outlining right now, uh, that's this is not Callista, this is Starling. Um, he's inspired by the bird, the Starling. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a beautiful big bird that kind of looks like a crow, but it's not a crow. It's a, or a raven. It's not a raven. Um, kind of looks like, I don't know. His, his feathers kind of like change colors in the light. It's cool. Anyways, but he has a lot of blues and greens and, uh, I think even purples in there. So it's kind of cool. So anyways, uh, like I said, I wanted to inspire him by the bird. So I think I did that. I don't know why I wanted Starling to be a mind reader and Callista not. Like, I don't know. I don't really know what Callista's story is yet. Obviously, everyone tells a story. Uh, but I don't know what I want her to tell. So, I'm still thinking about it. I think it might be uh, confidence, self-confidence. I need to have self-confidence. 
Uh, especially since she thinks she's just like, or I don't know, maybe conquering fears is probably what's going to be her story, her thing. Because she's very jittery, like very, very jittery. Donut finds her very annoying. <laughs> um, she does have a best friend. Best friend is Heatstroke. I also posted her on this channel a long time ago. I might do a redraw. It'd be kind of cool. Um, I might even have the two nerds, you know, in a library reading books or something. Um, but yeah, uh, Callista and Heatstroke are just best friends. Um, anyways, so I think that might be her story. I think that'll be good for her. For Starling, he just feels like a second character, like a secondary character, a said character. Um, he just feels so unimportant. <laughs> Uh, so I need to find a story for him too. Maybe he helps Callista find her self confidence. Um, but of course, everyone needs a problem, so his is gonna be. I don't know. I don't know something. I'll figure it out later. Uh, right now, so you guys aren't like, what in the world are you doing? Uh, I was looking at the wing and I, I didn't like it, <laughs> so I decided to redo it. And that's why I put it white, so that way I can see against the hard background colors. Oh, and here are her colors. And you can tell she's very murky and, yeah, very, uh, I want to blend in with the shadows, please. You know, that sort of thing. Okay, so now we're back on Starling. Uh, as you can tell, I wanted a lot of blues and greens. Um, yeah, he's he's an interesting one because his colors are so dark. I mean, okay, all Nightwing colors are so dark. <laughs> um, I need to actually kind of change his colors for a little bit to to understand what in the world I was doing. <laughs> and so, anyways, so now we're back to the greens and the blues. And heading on. So this actually took me three afternoons. So it was it was an insane amount of time. Um, and the shading was fun. And actually it was it was actually really fun. Usually my shadings are really simple and I find them very uh, lame. Because <laughs> it's just so simple, you know what I mean? Which is I guess why I like realism. But anyways, but their shading was a little bit more complex mostly or maybe it's not complex but i think i just like the texture and i think that's what really drew me to that right now i just wanted to add some glow because you can't really see their eyeballs <laughs> so i'm like i need something to bring the attention to their faces so anyways as i'm looking back on this drawing i can see a lot of areas where i could have improved and a lot of areas that i liked of uh, taking notes it's it's always good to, to learn from your mistakes and be okay with, you know, not being okay. Um, cause, you know, through all of your mistakes, you'll learn how to get better. Um, don't ever compare yourself. Please don't ever compare yourself to any other artist. Not myself, not anyone else. Uh, because the power of comparison will shoot you down. And it'll keep you there on the ground. <laughs> it'll bury you six feet under. I mean, really, it's bad. <laughs> so, you know, don't compare yourself, guys. Um, everyone has their own unique style. Everyone's learning their style. And, uh, yeah, art is a journey and a process. It's a journey, not a, not a, not something you can just win overnight. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, um, I think there's still a little bit more to this video, but it's fine. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, were okay with my ramblings. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!